All right, boom. So who are we here with? I'm here with my buddy Jeff and uh, God. How you doing? What's your name, brother? I'm Alex. How are y'all? Alex, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm from Delaware. It's good to be up in the city, just like right to the energy. And there's so many people up here. And I was like, what a good feeling to be around all this love. Are you kidding me? So we got some questions. And I heard you say music. And I am the biggest music fan. If it wasn't for music, I don't know what I would do with my day. So are you a music fan? I am the biggest. It runs my whole world. This is my buddy Jeff right here. Jeff, are you a music fan? Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Stand right there. So what has been in your guys' rotation lately? Oh, that's a good one. I got. I mean, go, you go first. Oh, okay. So I, I did just get back from Bonnaroo, and I got to see Fred again. He closed out the festival. Ooh. You know, I'm big on EDM, and I'm from Philly, so Subtronics. I definitely Kendrick Lamar is probably my top when it comes to hip hop. You know, he he speaks the truth. He's got so much in his message. He's got the spirit. So when everybody's a little bit deceived by the spirit, you know what? Like, who's this? Who's that? He he talks the good word. So are you kidding me? And right now we're at a place in the world where, you know. There's sides, there's good and bad, you know, you can pick and choose right now and you know I'd rather be over here helping people and spreading that light on on the world, you know what I mean? My playlist is full of Madonna and Janet Jackson. Who do you think is the best artist of this generation and why? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, Florence Welsh from Florence and the Machine, she's got a wonderful spirit. You know, I wanna give it to the women right now, like Brittany Howard. Let's see, Maggie Rogers, so many people out there. I mean you can't I don't like to play favorites, but like I said, you could kind of tell, you know, one side or the other side, and you hear it in the music these days, you know, we don't want that corrupt shit in our ears, right. you know, fuck being brainwashed. Right, right. <laughs> okay, you gotta go with Dolly Parton's goddaughter, yeah. Miley Cyrus, oh, hashtag Miley Cyrus. wrecking ball. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the current state of hip-hop in this direction? I think hip-hop is looked at uh, in a very negative way, kind of like, you know, someone looks at an alcoholic, or something like that. You know, there's a bad negative connotation, especially with the older generation, but the younger generation, they're listening to a lot of, in my opinion, they help the people that are talking about things that aren't really necessary to spiritual growth. That's kind of why I said I center around those, those, those bigger, more fluent rappers. You know, I did get a chance to see uh, Big X The Plug, you know, and he's like, bitch, I'm from Texas. And he's got a lot of soul in his music too. I know, you know, Something with a good message and a good embodiment of what an artist represents himself or herself to be. You know, the creative, because without art, we're lost in the world. I think that everybody just needs to express themselves. I think that hip-hop gets a little bit of a bad rap these days, but people don't know good music when they hear it. Do you think lyrical content in rap has improved or declined over the years? That depends. I feel like it's definitely improved a little bit. But when you take it back to like the era of Biggie and Tupac and all the, you know, tribe and everybody, you know, it seems like, you know, there is more of a clear message and more lyrics being thrown down on paper. You got Nas, you got all those people that really have like a story behind him. Like Nas told a story. He wasn't just talking about his wallet or anything. He always broke down into some intricate story and it always had meaning to the back of his lyrics. And his songs were just so creative. And I think, yes, in some way we have lost that touch. But there are many artists out there and you gotta have an ear for them. I think the quality of the lyrics of hip hop music today has gone much, much better than it was in the past. Why? Okay. Why? Because they don't talk about bitches and hoes and getting money anymore. How do you think the portrayal of women in rap music has changed over time? Oh, I don't think it's really changed much. I don't either. <laughs> do you think female artists have gotten better or worse over time? Much better. Okay. I don't know. You think Lil Kim is better than Janet Jackson? Certain women. You know, I take it back to like just strictly hip hop or music in general. In general. I know, like there is a lot of pioneers like Janis Joplin, Stevie Nicks, and you know all, all those uh, you know soul people back out there. They had something like this. So in a way, I think you know twerking on a pole and, and how big my ass is. It's very sexualized in the body, and we don't want to be too attached to to uh, you know sexualizing yes, our body. Yes, we do. You know, I'm, at least I don't. I want to be I want to be more in tune with that that thing that makes my body run. Yeah, we all know what thing that is. <laughs> one stays, one goes. All right, Drake or Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar. Drake. Travis Scott or Playboy Cardi? Travis Scott. I do not like Travis Scott. Uh, ha hashtag Astro World. I don't need to say anything else. Future or Young Thug. Ooh, can we say both of them, please? I was just getting back from Atlanta, and that's all I was listening to. No, I gotta say both of them. Both. Kanye or Lil Wayne? Oh my God, Ooh. really? Kanye. What? Old Kanye. Old Lil Wayne too. 
listen, Kanye is crazy. Hashtag Kim Kardashian's ex. Ex or Juice World? Juice World. Ex. Lil Durk or Meek Mill? Meek. Meek. Lil Baby or Gunna? Lil Baby. Gunna. Lil Uzi or 21 Savage? Lil 21 Uzi. Savage. Philadelphia all day. We live right next to Philly. The Weekend or Party Next Door? Weekend. weekend. Pop Smoke or A Boogie? Ooh. Mm, Ooh. Both. Say R.I.P. Pop. Tory Lanez or Brent Fias? Tory Lanez, probably. I agree. Tory Lanez. And last one for you, Frank Ocean or Tyler the Creator? Frank, all day, baby. Sorry, sorry, Ty. I love you, but like, come on now. This is the dude. You both are awesome, but I gotta give it to Frank, man. All right, now let me ask you guys, what is the theme song of the day? We are family. That's not my theme song. All it's my sisters, brothers, and me. It's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Anything else you want to say yeah, to yeah. the people? Peace, love, and hip hop. Dick is better than pussy.